are starting to draw the bud stage of tooth development and later in the same video we will be learning to draw the cap stage as well. So now we have Yosin Hematoxylin pencil and a lead pencil to draw the circle and to label the diagram later. Now we shall start with the oral ectoderm and then a part of dental lamina and a bud arising from the dental lamina. So we shall start with the basal cells of the oral ectoderm and the basal cells extending into the bud as well. So these are the outer cells of the bud which is cuboidal cells at this stage. Now the superficial polyhedral cells as we see in the stratified squamous epithelium. Now the central polyhedral cells inside the bud. Now we will be drawing the nucleus inside these cells. Once we finish drawing the epithelial part, we will be doing the connective tissue component. Here, very important thing is the ectomesenchymal condensation. So, we will be drawing the cells close to the bud in a very dense manner. And rest of the area, we will just do the crown substance. blood vessels before that we don't want the lumen to be filled with uh, ground substance material we want lumen to look uh, empty we'll do the fibroblasts in this now collagen fibers Now we shall make the nucleus in all the cells that we have drawn. Fibroblasts, spindle cells, spindle nucleus. Blood vessel lining showing endothelial cells. Now this is the drawing of bud stage of tooth development. And we'll start labeling. This is the oral ectoderm. This is the dental lamina. This is the ectomesenchyme. This is ectomesenchymal condensation or condensed ectomesenchyme. This group of cells close to the bud will be the dental papilla cells. All around will be dental follicle cells or dental sac cells. Importantly, we label the bud cells inside the bud. These are peripheral cuboidal cells and central polyhedral cells and these two together form the dental organ organ or previously known as enamel organ Together the dental papilla and the enamel organ and the follicle together they form the tooth germ. 
So this is the drawing of bud stage. Next we shall start with cap stage. Now for the cap stage, the same tooth bud proliferates in different regions to give the cap shape morphologically. We draw a cap like this. Later we can darken the outline. Now we draw the cells of the oral ectoderm which are similar to what we drew in the bud stage. Now drawing the cells inside the cap, we peripherally they are cuboidal cells that is they are called as outer dental epithelial cells. The inner lining will be low columnar cells called as inner, inner dental epithelial cells. Now we shall draw the nucleus for these cells. Now the nucleus for the inner enamel epithelial cells or inner dental epithelial cells, the nuclei are placed in the central region of this low columnar cells. This is important point to remember because as the stage advances, the nuclear location changes. Now the central cells which are rich in glycosaminoglycans absorb the liquid uh, from outside, the fluid from outside and become stellate shaped. To draw the stellate cells we need a very sharp pencil. So we just draw star shaped cells like this. I just connect all these cell edges to give the st stellate appearance and to maintain the intercellular attachment. It's actually very difficult to draw the stellate cells. So I just found this is the easiest way to draw the stellate reticulum cells. Just draw the stellate cells first, uh, star shaped cells like this first and connect them all connect them all that way you get the stellate shape basically what happens the fluid flows inside between the cells in the intercellular space and the cells retain their attachments and they get pulled apart because of the fluid inflow and they gain the stellate shape so this is the stellate, stellate reticulum cells now we have the to make the nucleus inside. Next is we draw the ectomesenchymal condensation in the cap area. Those are the dental papillary cells. So we draw the fibroblast and differentiated mesenchymal cells etc. inside this and then we draw around it the dental follicle cells. We just shade the brown substance, draw the blood vessels. Before shading, please draw the blood vessels. We don't want the ground substance inside the vessels. Vessels will have blood cells inside. Now we make the fibroblasts of the general ectomesenchyme. collagen fibers we can darken the condensed ectomesenchymal cells here now we make the nucleus inside these ectomesenchymal cells Now 
now we have this cap stage drawing done of tooth development this is cap stage we can actually add another structure in cap stage as we discussed that the succedaneous teeth dental lamina also forms in this stage so we can have the succedaneous dental lamina there the successional dental lamina now we should start labeling this this is the oral ectoderm this is the primary dental lamina this is the successional lamina this is the enamel organ parts that is outer dental epithelial cells this is inner dental epithelium these are the stellate reticulum cells this is the central condensed ectomesenchyme is the dental papilla or dental papillary cells outer condensation will be the dental follicle cells or dental sac cells this is the general ectomesenchyme you can even label that now this outer dental epithelium inner dental epithelium and stellate reticulum together form the enamel organ or the dental organ the dental organ plus the dental papilla dental follicle together form the tooth germ so this is the drawing of cap stage you can have a closer look at these cells this is stellate reticulum in the center inner and outer dental epithelial cells dental papilla and dental follicle cells of the cap stage this is the cells of the bud stage can okay. closer look of it so that you will have a better idea how to draw them how they should look once you finish drawing them hope this helped thank you so much for seeing this video please subscribe to my channel please give your comments and feedback on the channel and please give likes thank you see you all soon bye